This is where you sometimes see athletes struggle towards the line when they lose coordination. And this race does involve Dmitry Safranov, who is the world record and championship record holder. Set at the same time in Leon back in 2013. All nine lanes in operation for this final. Nine runners in total. Jacob Phillips, the man who beat cancer back in 2015. His hero is Stephen Adams, who's the half-brother of Lisa Adams, who won shot put gold earlier this morning. We'll go from the inside lane. In lane number nine, ranked number five in the world, representing the USA. There. Zachary Marshall. Marshall Zachary. In Fourth eight. in 2017. Took up Paris for a high school back in 2008. Did Zachary. Fabio Bourdignon. We'll go from lane eight. Silver in Rio in 2016 in both the 100 and the 200 metres. There is Safran. World Championships. Paralympic Championships. Erden Barreto. Bronze in Rio in 2016 in both the 100 and 200. Silver in the 200 back in London two years ago. Sviatov, he won Paralympic gold in 2016. So this is a high class race. The second of the Russians, Artem Kalashian, silver in both the one and the two back in 2015. So he knows what it's like to be on the podium as well. Idris Alzidi, the 19-year-old, his first major championship. Just think of the pressure he's under, having set his lifetime best this year, 28-46. His first major championships and... Bao Chi Yu, who's had a taste of high-quality athletics at the Asian Para Games last year when he won silver. And that man there, Jacob Phillips, can he capitalise on what's been a very good day indeed? for New Zealand. It's the men's 200 metres T35. So look out for Safranov in lane seven. Also, Sviatov of Ukraine, who'll go in lane five. And sandwiched in between will be Ernan Barreto. But that's the man you suspect they will be chasing. Been a long three years out of competition for the Russians. This man will hope to explode them back into gold medal action. In the 200 metres T35. Well, it's been a false start. Now, this may be a red car because it doesn't look like there's been a malfunction with the gun let's just have a look and it is in lane three it's the Iraqi Idris Alzadi the 19 year old his first major championship and he's been given the red card so he's out tears on the side of the track for him what a way to come into your first major championship and to end that way being disqualified for a false start. So we're down one already. Such a sad thing to see. So much effort has gone into this. 19 years of age. All the effort in the world up against some phenomenal athletes. Get a bit jittery. Coordination impairment category disqualification and out he goes well they say disappointment builds character he's going to have some time to there's the big triumvirate Safranov 
Sviatov and Barreto. As our Zaidi looks on. We just have to wait until the prayers are finished before we move on with the competition. If you're wondering why we're waiting. Unfortunately for Idris Al Zaidi, it means he sits there even longer and has to wait until the athletes can move ahead with the action. Mosques around Dubai, prayer time. Nice to see Barreto going over and consoling the Iraqi athlete. Just 19 years of age, such disappointment. Such hopes, such aspirations in this race. And sadly for him, it's ended in disqualification before he's even got out of the blocks. But as Queen sung, the show must go on. So lane three is no longer occupied. Lane seven, Dmitry Safranov. Gold in this in 2013 and 15 European Championship medals as well. But getting away fastest on the outside is Fabio Bordignon in lane eight, who has got away very quickly indeed. But as we suspected, through the middle, it is the Ukrainian athlete, Ihor Sviatov, who has the lead, but chasing him down, Safranov, but he's not going to get there. Sviatov has gone out extremely quick. Let's just have a look at the time on this. Safranov in second place, 23.03. That is a new world record. He has absolutely smashed it. As Sviatov, well, he's gone out extremely quick. Safranov tried to go with him. He couldn't go with him. Kalashian tried to go as well. He took the bronze medal. He'll be happy with that. Safranov with the silver, but it's been all about Ukraine. Ihor Sviatov, gold in the Paralympics in 2016. He is now also the world champion, having collected gold. Men's 200 metres, T35, world champion. He is Ihor Sviatov of Ukraine. Defending also the title he won in London when Safranov wasn't around two years ago due to Russia being suspended from international competition. Well, Sviatov, what a run indeed. He rounded that first 100 metres. Just look at him out of the blocks there. He was already up on the inside of Artem Kalashian. He went past. He went around. He got into the home straight. You can see Safranov there thinking, I need to catch up with him. I can't get to Ihor Sviatov smashing the record which was held for six years by the man he beat into second place, Sviatov. Both, all three, smashing the world record. A wind speed of plus 1.1. So no issues there whatsoever. As Pareto went down in the background as he went across the line. But all three breaking the world record that's been held for six years by the man Safranov in second place. World record of 23.04, 23.93, a new lifetime best for Safranov. Kalashian also a lifetime best, 24.24 for him. Russia in second and third, but Ukraine with the gold medal. So the top three, all inside the old world record of 24.69, set by Safranov when he won the world title in Leon of the Stadarone. 